the reason why I break them as offense and defense is I do believe that offense is a part of the job that is the newest. I mean, let's face it, the CFO, how long has the CFO position, the COO and the president position been around in the United States? 100 years, 150, French Industrial Revolution. When did the first CIOs start coming online? 94, 96, CISOs, 2000s, late. So I, so I like to break it into two, two pieces, offense and defense. Defense, they're all critically important, but the, the offense is what I want the first session to be on because I think that's where we create some interesting capabilities within the organization for revenue, alignment with the business, and successes that are, are, can impact our customers and such that are, are real forward facing. So that's why I break it into offense and defense. And to think in a way that's not arithmetically, but exponentially. How can you get things done in a way that's not just 5%, 6%, 7%, 10% improvement? If you're at a table and you're talking 6%, 5%, 4% improvement, you're talking like everybody else. What if you're the one person at the table that's thinking about how we can 10x something? The one person at the table. Now what's coming out of, of your whole being is something that is completely you're having a different conversation. So I like to have offense be about that. Now, it, that's a different story on defense. But I like to have this because if you're making 4% improvement a year, 6% improvement a year, we know what that stair step looks like. But 20, 30, 30 linear steps, 26 exponential steps, we're going around the earth a whole bunch of times.